Today, let's delve into the fascinating journey of a man who plays an extraordinary role in the pages of the Bible, King David. This man, according to God's own heart, shares profound lessons about faith, obedience, and perseverance. Born in Bethlehem as the youngest of eight sons of Jesse, David was chosen by God for a grand destiny. Before ascending to the throne of Israel, David faced a period of challenges and preparation. His early years were dedicated to tending sheep in the fields, a task that, though seemingly simple, proved crucial to his formation. In those silent hours, David absorbed valuable teachings about leadership and trust in God. Protecting his flock from wild animals and unforeseen dangers, David learned to rely on divine strength and guidance. From a young age, David fearlessly confronted lions and bears, as recorded in 1 Samuel 17, 36 He told Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep, and when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it, and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard, and struck and killed it. This courage that enabled him to conquer fierce predators in his youth shaped the great king he would become. David was not a common monarch. Even when he reigned, he remained a tireless warrior. Unlike modern kings, David did not distance himself from his responsibilities. He led at the forefront shoulder to shoulder with his men. In a remarkable display of courage, David and his warriors defeated 200 Philistines, presenting their trophies to the king. Songs echoed the heroic deeds of David, remembering the man who dared to challenge and triumph in battle. Then the woman sang her song as everyone danced, proclaiming, Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. David was not just an ordinary man, he was a tireless warrior, one who advanced into battle when others retreated. His record of courage included facing lions, bears, and entire armies. David was a radical, but a radical for good, leaving a trail of defeats for giants, lions, and bears. The story unfolds in the days of Saul's reign, the first king of Israel. However, Saul's disobedience led God to reject him as king. Samuel the prophet was sent to anoint a new king, someone after God's own heart. In a visit to Jesse's house in Bethlehem, Samuel was intriguingly guided by the Lord not to judge by physical appearance. Jesse's older sons were presented to Samuel, but none of them was the chosen one. When they finally called David the youngest who tended the flock, Samuel immediately knew he was the one God had selected. Anointed in the presence of his brothers, the Spirit of the Lord came upon David, preparing him for his role as king. David is a powerful testimony that God sees beyond the surface. Not being the obvious candidate, David was chosen for his heart. His bravery on the battlefield, defeating the giant Goliath and leading his armies to victory, earned him a reputation for courage and strength. But David was not just a warrior, he was also a man of deep emotions. Despite his military strength, David openly expressed his emotions. He cried without reservations, and his heart was moved by the pain of others. David's authenticity shines through in the Psalms he wrote, full of joy and sorrow. His emotional connection with God was evident, loving him with all his heart. In one Psalm, David cries out, As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. The emotional aspect of David is even more tangible in his relationship with God. His passionate pursuit of the Creator led him to express his feelings freely. Even facing moments of depression, David remained faithful to God, using song and tears as a means of communicating his deepest emotions. David is undoubtedly an example that strength and vulnerability can coexist powerfully. It's fascinating to note that David, unquestionably the greatest warrior of the Old Testament, faced moments of despair. His life is a testimony that even the strongest sometimes struggle. However, he was a brave man, and in every person there is an inner David. Over the years, I've guided many men, and many identify with David because the Bible is candid about the life and trials of being a man. For women listening now, it might seem that being a man is simple and easy. Allow me to say that it's not. I can't speak about life as a woman, but I can talk about the serious pressures and responsibilities of being a man. 
Most men silently deal with their struggles and depressions, keeping busy and fulfilling their duties even when secretly suffering. Your brothers, husbands, sons, uncles, and nephews may be silently dying inside. The highest suicide rate is among middle-aged men, representing 49% of the U.S. population, but nearly 80% of suicides. Many men don't seek help, but are suffering internally. Someone you know may have cried themselves to sleep without anyone knowing. Men are under so much pressure that they genuinely believe they will have a mental breakdown. Many situations can lead men to this dark station. Job loss, betrayal, the death of a loved one or shattered dreams can sink them into a well of despair. Most suffer in silence, hiding their struggles and continuing their daily lives. It's essential to reach out to these men as many won't ask for help, but now they have the physical ability to do so. On the journey of life, many men face silent battles, fighting a whirlwind of emotions that threaten their balance. The Bible, our spiritual compass, guides us through these dark times, offering divine comfort and valuable lessons. Imagine the wise psalmist who whispers to us in Psalm 34, 18, the Lord is near to those who are brokenhearted and saves those who are heavy in spirit. Here we are reminded of God's closeness in difficult times, a bright light capable of dispelling the shadows of hopelessness. The importance of true friendships is highlighted in Proverbs 17:17, 17, 17, where we are reminded that a genuine friend is like a brother in adversity. Building deep connections and sharing our struggles is not only a sign of courage, but also a powerful strategy for easing emotional burdens. Jeremiah 29:11 offers us a divine promise of hope and purpose. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. In these challenging moments, believing that there is a greater purpose gives us the strength to move forward. As wise counselors, Proverbs reminds us in 15:22 of the importance of seeking guidance when needed. Plans fail for lack of advice, but succeed when there are many advisors. Expert professionals are ready to offer wisdom and support, guiding us toward emotional healing. So men, remember, on life's journey, faith, true friendships, the search for purpose and shared wisdom are powerful allies. Do not hesitate to ask for help, as strength lies in unity and in the belief that, even in the shadows, the light of hope shines brightly. Encouraging oneself is crucial when there's no one else to trust. Men need to acknowledge that they are not alone in their struggles. The story of David, when he himself fell into the well of despair, illustrates this. However, he encouraged himself in the Lord his God. In tough times, choose to rise, keep moving forward, and don't give up. David was a man who grew in battle, and it's a lesson we can learn from him today. Encourage yourself in the Lord, for you will overcome this situation. You won't be defeated, don't give up when others do, and don't surrender when others give in. David was the kind of man who improved in battle, and you too can grow old in the Lord, your God. As we continue our journey, let us remember the divine promise found in Psalm 30, 5. Weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. As David experienced, our sorrows can be transformed into joy when we seek divine light and share our burdens with those around us. David, in the midst of challenges, he wrote in Psalm 103, 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not any of his benefits. This attitude of gratitude teaches us that even in the storms, there are reasons to recognize the blessings that permeate our lives. In another passage in the Bible in Psalm 27 to 14, we find a promise that echoes through the ages. Wait in the Lord, be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. Wait therefore in the Lord. Just as David waited patiently for divine guidance, we are invited to find strength and courage and faith, knowing that there is a divine purpose in the challenges we face. So may the story of King David inspire us to not only face our darkest moments with courage, but also to seek the spiritual and emotional renewal that awaits us on the other side of the journey. May we find strength and vulnerability comfort in communion and joy in the promise of a new dawn. Together we can turn darkness into light, just as David found hope in his most challenging moments. Let's build a support network where each story, each comment, and each like represents a step towards overcoming and renewal. Subscribe, like, 
and share your journey with us in the comments. We will grow, learn, and inspire each other, forming a community united by the transformative power of narratives that echo through time. Together we are stronger.